All right, fellas, buckle up because the future just got a whole lot crazier. Sherry, you know, the brand that usually makes affordable cars, just decided to throw out the rule book and make a flying car. I don't know what they're putting in the water over there, but I'm pretty sure we all want some. Before I dive into this madness, I gotta remind you, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay in the loop on the latest tech that's so cool here. You'll start doubting if we're still living in 2024 for a sci-fi movie. Trust me, the stuff we talk about here will blow your mind more than that time you tried to understand cryptocurrency. So Sherry's flying car? This thing is nuts. We're talking 120 miles per hour, or 75 miles per hour, and it flies at 1,000 meters high about 3,280 feet. That's higher than I ever thought my dreams of skipping traffic would go. Now, if you've ever been stuck behind a truck spewing smoke at 7 a.m., you've probably fantasized about lifting off into the air. Well, here's your chance, buddy. Here's the deal. This flying car's design is straight up futuristic. It's got three separate modules, a two-seater passenger capsule, a car chassis, and then here's the kicker, wings with propellers and tail fins. It's like Sherry decided to play mad scientist and combined a drone, a car, and a spaceship. And guess what? There's no steering wheel. Yeah, you heard me. No steering wheel. No pedals. You just sit back, relax, and pray the autopilot's smarter than you are. Now don't worry about learning to fly like Maverick from Top Gun. This thing's fully autonomous. No flying lessons, no annoying voice telling you to adjust the flaps. Just hop in, detach the wings when you hit the road, and slap them back on when it's time to take off. It's like a car that transforms, but instead of fighting off alien robots, you're just trying to avoid your mother-in-law's Sunday brunch. The platform they've built this flying beast on is called the Sherry S2 Mars. Yeah, Mars. I guess Sherry figured, why stop at the skies when we can aim for other planets? This baby can take off and land vertically too. It's like having your own helicopter, minus the awkward phone call to your bank to explain why you're suddenly $2 million in debt. During testing, this flying wonder has been hitting 40-minute flights and covering distances up to 80 kilometers. 50 miles. Now, I know what you're thinking. How much is this gonna set me back? Good question. We don't have the exact numbers yet, but, but let's just say you're probably going to want to start that savings account yesterday. But hey, it's a flying car. If nothing else, at least you'll get to say, sorry honey, I had to get it, it flies.